All right, so let's work another problem. This one's gonna be another similar triangle problem because these are the confusing ones for a lot of people. Uh, the problem here is a man six feet tall walks at a rate of five feet per second towards the street light that is 16 feet above the ground. At what rate is the tip of the shadow moving? And at what rate is the length of the shadow changing when he is 10 feet from the base? So first things first, let's make this into a picture problem. So I have my lamp post right here, which is 16 feet. It's going to be a right triangle. And I have a little guy here, which is six feet tall. I know this total length right here is going to be the length of my shadow. I'm gonna call this X and I'm gonna call this A. I know this guy's walking this way at five feet per second. So I'm gonna actually say that that's gonna be a change in my X, my X by five feet, feet per second. So that's gonna be my DX, DT is, and I'm going negative five feet per second because he's walking towards it. He's not walking away from it. All right, so that's my DX, DT. I also know X equals 10, so we're gonna need that. But also from this equation, we can extrapolate that L equals X plus A. This is just our segment addition postulate from geometry. So we're gonna use all of this to solve this problem to find how fast this length is changing as he's walking and how fast is the tip of the shadow moving. So what we're really looking for is a change in A over change in time. And we're gonna look for a change in L and a change in time. We're looking for all of that. So let's look to see how to do it. All right, so we have another similar triangle here. Um, and what I'm gonna do is anytime I have a similar triangle, I'm gonna set up the proportions. So I know that 16 over six equals my L, which is X plus A. So X plus A over the smaller part, which is A. Now these are both, we assume they're 90 degrees. So we have an angle, angle similarity. All right, from here, let's kind of simplify this down. I've got 16. A equals 6X plus 6A. Subtract A from both sides. I have 10A equals 6. I can scale this down by 2. I want to get 5A equals 6. I'm going to be using this. In fact, let's just go ahead and solve. And I'm going to say X will actually equal 5 thirds A. And A can actually equal 3 fifths. So I'm gonna need all, I'm gonna need this bit of information right there. Okay, so I've got all that and all that's fine and dandy, but I need some sort of equation that I can take a derivative of. That's my equation right here. I have L equals X plus. I'm actually gonna split this into two different equations. I can say that L equals, well, hey, my X right here is gonna be a 5 thirds A plus A. And I have L equals, there's a bell right there. We know that we have X plus, well, we know A is 3 fifths X. So I can combine these and I'll get L equal, let's see, this is going to be 8 thirds A. This L over here, when I combine these, is going to be 8 fifths X. All right, let's take the derivative of both of these, see what happens. I get a DL DT gives me 8 thirds DA DT. And then I have a DL DT equals 8 fifths DX DT. All right, so I don't have a DA, DT, but that was something I was looking for because that's gonna tell me how fast the tip is moving. The DL, DT tells me how fast the shadow is moving, but I do have a DX, DT right here, so let's start there. So I can say DL, DT equals eight over five times a negative five. This is gonna be feet per second. This and this cancels, so I end up getting negative eight.
feet per second. All right. All right. So that means my shadow is moving at negative eight feet per second. All right. Well, this is DL. I have a DL right here, and I have an eight thirds. And I have this here, so I can actually solve for DA by using the DL I just found. So I've got a negative eight equals eight over three DA feet. Well, multiply by the reciprocal. I've got negative eight times three over eight DA. D, my eights cancel, and my DA T equals negative three feet per second. So what this tells me, it this right here tells me my shadow length. This is my shadow length. My shadow length is decreasing at eight feet per second when I am when this person is ten feet from the lamp post when the lamp post is sixteen feet tall. It also tells me that the tip of the shadow is moving at three, it's decreasing by three feet per second. So it's coming in three feet per second while the shadow is decreasing at eight feet per second as the guy's walking at five feet per second towards the lamp post. That's what all this information tells you. These similar triangles, they are just different beasts when it comes to these related rate problems. Hi, I'm Mr. Buzzman. And these videos are supplemental instruction for my students. If you found the video enjoyable, make sure you click the like button and click subscribe as well as the bell for notifications to receive future videos on high school mathematics.